My name is Rebel, and today we're going to be talking about the app Byte, a new Vine-like app that just came out yesterday on the day of recording this. Before we start, I just want to thank you so, so much for watching this, and if you like my video, make sure you subscribe. I'm hoping to stay active with the new year, uh, call it a new year's resolution, call it what you want, but your support is so helpful in letting me keep making these videos, so please subscribe if you like what I do, and comment down below with the videos that you'd like to see. So I was on Twitter this morning, as I am way too often, and I noticed that a good chunk of people were posting about this new app, uh, Byte. I had no idea what it was, so did what anyone does, and I googled it. Um, didn't come up with a lot at first. Turns out that there are a lot of things called Byte out there. But I did find out that it is essentially Vine version 2. So Byte is the successor to Vine. It was released on January 24th, 2020. It was made by Dom Hoffman, who is the co-founder of the original Vine, and it was originally and aptly called V2, so Vine, Vine 2. If you never used Vine, which I honestly never really did, um, I used it maybe a little bit, but I never got like super into it. Is, is it but weird? get to Del Taco. They got a new thing called Free Shav Free Free Shavakadu. Free Shavak. Vine was a platform for making and sharing these short six-second video clips. Hanger. Hurry up, we're gonna be late for school. Bruh, chill. I don't know why you're in a big time rush. Uh, uh, uh. If I had to compare it to an active service, I would say TikTok, but I know that I would get a lot of crap for that, so well, let's just say it shut down. So the end of Vine was that Twitter bought it and then they shut it down. So Vine was over. But knowing all that, I figured that I would download it and we could try to figure out how it works together. Hello? So let's do that. Happy birthday, Raven! So we're looking at the app here. This is the first try for me. And I don't really know what any of this does. I'm clicking on the buttons. I'm kind of like... I, I've got the gist of it, you know, Snapchat taught me to hold down the button and that records video, I got that. Um, looks like the videos can be 6.5 seconds, I got that, but honestly, it doesn't feel super intuitive to me. Um, maybe if you're a teen or someone who's more in the know than I am on these things, it is more intuitive, but for me, first time looking at it, I, I don't know what's going on. So I went to Google and Googled a little bit, and I did find out what most of the tools mean, so we can go over that. So you have the Home tab, which is Home tab, <laughs> like any Home tab. It looks like since I don't follow anyone, it just defaults to showing me things that Byte has retweeted. You have a Search tab, which has Categories, which is interesting to me because I don't think Vine had that. You have a Notifications tab in the shape of a lightning bolt for some reason. I, I don't know. I don't understand that. Well, I thought originally the lightning bolt was like the logo for the app, but I don't I don't know if that's true. And a profile tab, which is just your, it's your profile. And then finally in the middle, you have the record button, which I have heard being called the create section. I, I'm just gonna call it a record button. And it looks like you can record live video or clips that you already have in your phone and you get 6.5 seconds, like I said before, instead of six, which is groundbreaking. It's great, it's brand new. Extra five, no, not even an extra an extra half a second, what will you create? So the add to channel button I learned lets you add the video to a specific category. Um, again, maybe this is different if you're better at this kind of thing than I am, but this was definitely not intuitive to me. When I see add to channel, to me that reads like, like post, post the video, but then there's also a post button. So yes, just, just a little confusing, <laughs> a little confusing for me. And from what I'm seeing and from what I've read, there isn't a way to add audio, which is kind of lame. I don't, I don't want to hear myself talk most of the time, so I don't know. I don't know. All right. Anyway, with all that newfound knowledge, let's go ahead and try it again and see if we can make a better video than the first time. Okay, so we're opening up the app. We've got the app open. Let's make a quick video. Me talking at the camera. I'm recording over this because the audio is terrible when I tried to record on my phone. I'm gonna pick a category for the category. I thought I thought weird was appropriate for a furry video. It seems appropriate. And description, and we'll post it, I guess. So learning all the new features, I feel like 
my video was more of the same. Um, I I think I'm I think I'm thinking too much of TikTok because in what I know of TikTok, you can add stickers and you can add music and you can do all this stuff. Um, and this isn't that. So I'm thinking it'll evolve more over time and people will kind of move to the platform and then we'll have more ideas for what to post. But um, yeah, right now I'm kind of just drawing a blank on stuff to post with it. But I'll post my quick video and uh, if you guys end up getting the platform and do want to share some videos that you've made, please let me know. I'd love to see what you guys are making. Um, and see what uses the platform has. And I hope you have a really, 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 really good night. All right, goodbye.